everybody, welcome to my Disney prep. I know this is something that a lot of people have been looking forward to. I am literally seven days out from Disney right now and I'm just starting to pack. And if you could see everything around me, you would just die because it's just so not me. If you don't know, we're selling our home. So things have been a little bit chaotic, but I'm finally sitting down and packing and prepping and getting everything all set to go. So if you're watching this video, we are in Disney right now. Check out my Instagram. It is linked below if you want to see some real time pictures of us. I may or may not try to upload some like instant videos like a certain time every day or I may try Periscope not quite sure but definitely check me out on Instagram I will try to post a ton of pictures as we go throughout the day um you know I love sharing our Disney trips so it's always fun for me to share a lot of, a lot of pictures and just updates and you know I'm not sure if I'm ready for Periscope but I can probably upload some like cool things you know like Ellie's first ride and um you know just different things so Hopefully when you're seeing this, this is the day that we've um, left for Disney. That's what I'm shooting for. So fingers crossed it happens. In today's video, I'm going to share all of the items we bought food wise, since we're not going to be on the dining plan. So we aren't doing the dining plan this time. We went back and forth. We went back and forth. And the way that we're eating, we're going to do some table services, some quick services, and some just our own food that we're bringing. Uh, and it just didn't make sense. Casey has a lot of issues with their food after a while. He starts throwing up. He gets migraines. It's not a good time. Ellie doesn't really eat. Um, so, you know, yeah, we could stuff ourselves to the point of like wanting to die because we're trying to, you know, make up for the two of them. Plus Trevor's now a Disney adult. A lot of things just went together. We're like, eh, let's just try not to do it. So the dining plan would have been about 950 and 780 plus tips. So that's basically the number we're trying to stick under. Yeah, we probably won't have as much food, but it's like we'll be eating what we want. And if it works, great. If not, it doesn't. And we learned. So here's all the things that I bought. Keep in mind, I'm trying to buy my kids like fun things that we don't normally buy to make it still just as exciting as we're on vacation. Woohoo! Plus it's things that I can just grab and throw in a bin. So... First things first, I grabbed this Kellogg's Fun Pack and it has Fruit Loops, Frosted Flakes, Corn Pops, Cocoa Krispies. Is that the same stuff? Oh, and Apple Jacks. So there's that. This was like three or four dollars at Target. And you know, after I've been spending all this money on this food, I, I don't think we're going to come out any better. However, we'll be eating how we want. Like we don't want to eat a table service every day. We want one every other day. And you know, stuff like that. I also grabbed this um, Fun Shapes 20 pack of Teddy Graham's Honey, Teddy Graham's Chocolate, Mini Chips Ahoy, and some Animal Crackers. And this was at Target, it was like five or six dollars, I think. And then there was a 10% cartwheel. So I have 20 packs of these. So between the four kids, that's, you know, enough for a couple days at least. We also grabbed this bag of chips. And we had to open it this weekend because we were all out of chips. But um, it had 20 things in it and we've eaten some of them. But just chips for the days that the kids do brown bag their lunch. Um, the only thing not here is a loaf of bread that I will get like the day that we leave. We also have these two dipped chocolate chip bars. We normally get just the, you know, chewy chocolate chip granola bars. Uh, I decided to get these ones and I got two sets of them so that we can all have one, two different days um, as it's, you know, a big treat for us. And uh, I just think that the kids would enjoy it. And I'm thinking a sandwich, the Teddy Grahams, one of these chips. That's a nice, you know, junky meal for them. Um, we are bringing a pack of Girl Scout cookies. I thought we had one more, but apparently we don't. So um, we do have a pack, pack of tagalongs for my husband. In the way of treats again, I also got them some Tootsie Pops. They love lollipops. And I didn't want to get them the Blow Pops because it has gum in it. I figured this, they'll tell me because they won't like the center in this one. So another fun thing that we don't normally buy. We bought some 
frozen graham snacks. They're just graham crackers that are like cinnamon flavored. And uh, there's a 12 pack of those. So again, there's some for all. And you know, Trevor is the least excited about, you know, doing no dining plan. But we told him, you know, you can have food on, you know, on the dining plan or whatever. Or you, we can buy tons and tons of Disney food, but it's just going to mean less that we get to do and have fun and whatever. And he kind of gets it. And he knows that it's not going to be every day. Um, we have our favorite places that we want to eat. And us doing this is allowing us to do that. Um, I have two packs of these Pop-Tarts in their suitcases. Or in their carry-ons, excuse me, for breakfast the day that we leave. So they each have... Um, these and I got these for like a dollar at Target um, Dollar Tree excuse me we also got these mini muffins uh, it's like four little tiny mini muffins I'm this isn't gonna be a breakfast for them by any means but I have I think yeah I have enough for everybody to have this for two breakfasts and um, I am going to get some like bananas, apples, uh, stuff like that. Like I think I'm going to get bananas and bring them in my carry-on for the kids for like the day one. We'll have a banana and some of these muffins. And then I'm going to put some apples and oranges in my luggage. And that'll be day two to go with the muffins. And then we'll move on to the easier things like um, Pop-Tarts and stuff like that. Um, we went and bought a bunch of this monster trail mix from Target and it has nuts, candy, and raisins in it. And they're these just like little pick-me-up bags. And I think my husband will eat these too. I grabbed a lot of these. Trevor said he would, you know, you know really like those. So I grabbed those for the kids. I also grabbed some ring pops. Again, something that we don't normally buy them. That is like a huge treat for them. And that way, you know, we're just getting the things that they love. Like Casey loves getting popcorn. Um, he loves the Mickey bars. You know, all the kids like the Mickey bars and stuff like that. So it's like we're just saving our money for that sort of stuff. We also got two Brita water bottles. One for the girls, one for the boys. We're going to get filtered water while we are there. Um, we are going to... Uh, do Mio as well so we figure the days that we do Mio we'll just take the filter part out we also have a whole bucket of frozen fruit snacks uh, these are like Ellie's drug of choice and where she won't have cheese there that's what we're gonna do we were gonna originally do like a garden grocery order but I'm like you know what I'm just not gonna do that I'm not gonna pay the money for it so Ellie will be without her cheese, uh, but we have your fruit snacks and bars and stuff. Um, we have lots of pop tarts again for more breakfast. And I'll say even when we're on the dining plan, we don't eat breakfast um, like in the parks or whatever. It's just, we would much rather get ready and then like as everyone's getting ready, just eat something quick and then go and then we'll have an early lunch and a later dinner and it works. Um, I also got some of these peanut butter bars. There's enough for everyone. Like my husband will have one, um, Aubrey and Trevor will probably split this and then Casey and Ellie will have this one. I'm allergic to peanut butter so I don't have it. And then we have tons of these, uh, Dollar Tree had these like three packs of Jif to go and so I have a ton of them. I have nine of them here and in the food court for breakfast they have um, like little jellies so I can make peanut butter and jelly sandwiches when we get there for the kids and I'll probably make them and put them in the refrigerator and then just grab them and go in the mornings. Uh, we're not going to do that often, probably like, you know, every other day or something like that so that we're saving money but also not like taking away from the things that we enjoy on our vacation. But again, the kids just don't... Most of them don't tolerate the food all that well. And so, you know, it works. Uh, I also have a big bag of goldfish, the vanilla cupcake kind. I also have a big bag of the animal cookies. And I also have some of these peanut butter crackers. So, press not huge on the 
peanut butter and jelly. So I figure, you know, he can maybe just have some like snack lunches sometimes where he doesn't love it. Uh, like I said, I am going to get a big bag or two of the like apples, oranges. I want to say it's like red apples, green apples and then oranges. I'm gonna get one of those. I'm gonna have the bananas. So we'll have some fruit in there too. And then whenever we're at the restaurants, I'm hoping that they'll make some good choices and get like um, veggies and stuff like that. So we also grabbed, I grabbed makeup stuff too when I was there today. We also grabbed two of the Mio things that I like. These are my favorite kind. We're hoping to drink a lot more water this time where we're not on the dining plane and drinking all that soda. I think that's another reason why we get headaches and stuff like that. So that's just another reason why we kind of are trying to avoid the dining plan as well. Um, I grabbed two packs of these glazed honey buns again for two more breakfasts. We will be there. We will need breakfast for a total of... Um, like eight mornings. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have more than enough, but like my husband will take these for snacks sometimes and he's really picky with snacks. So I'm thinking he'll have pop tarts and stuff like that for breakfast as well. Uh, at the Dollar Tree today, I also grabbed some of these little containers for sandwiches. So I have a Star Wars one, a frozen one. Another Star Wars and the same frozen one and I figure that way you know we can do it that way and we also told the kids you know maybe some days like two kids will um, bring and two kids will buy or vice versa so we'll try different things and then also at the Dollar Tree I grabbed these Weiler's light uh, we grabbed strawberry lemonade and regular lemonade and we figure we can put these in the water that we get from the quick service we'll just ask for ice water and throw these in there and then the kids will drink that and again they're drinking more water uh we also got this hawaiian punch sugar-free fruit juicy red for trevor uh aubrey cannot have this we also found this coffee mate french vanilla liquid creamer um i saw this in i know her name on instagram but i don't know if she wants that out there on youtube so she's a new vlogger but i saw this on her um like pre-disney haul so i grabbed this for my coffee in the morning and i may actually see if i can find a way to like cold brew my coffee uh in the room we'll see we also grabbed these finding dory macaroni and cheese just add water they're ready in three and a half minutes we do have a microwave in our room so this can be a dinner one night when we're there early and the kids would love that and i um I wanted to have like hot dogs or something like that with it but again the the fees and the um, the cost of the food when you order from those like services it's just so much so i'm just not going to do it i was going to do a prime pantry box of like gatorades and juice boxes but i just figure it's cheaper to just do the um the like little drink packet sorry i'm just going to do the last few bags and then again at Dollar Tree today, and I had to do it today because a lot of the expiration dates are really, really close. I grabbed two packages of the Cracker Jack stuff. Um, Casey will probably take all of these, but um, just another little treat for them. Some chocolate pudding packs, another treat for them. Some um, Swiss rolls, another treat. And some of these oatmeal cream pies again stuff I don't ever buy so it'll definitely be a little bit different not having all the Disney food but I have so much junk food for them to have that it's gonna be such like a treat for them and you know in all honesty I'm not sure how much I spent I'll try to add it up real quickly and let you know in a second I would say I've probably spent somewhere in the $70 range for all of this stuff which if you think of it, you're like, holy crap, that's a lot of money for junk food. But at the same time, for us to do a quick service, for all of us to get a meal, to get a drink, to get, you know, a treat, it's going to be like $75 for one meal. This is going to cover, like, in all honesty, we're hoping, like the first day we'll be all buying food, but the days that we do table services, with the exception of our anniversary, I'm hoping to pack lunches those days to kind of offset that cost, you know, for 
excuse me, for us to go to Tusker House for breakfast, it's $180 with our tip. For us to go to Ohana for dinner, it's $233 for us to eat plus our tip. For us to go to Casey's and have hot dogs and french fries, it's like $60 to $70. So us doing this is saving a little money. Do I feel guilty that I'm going to be eating more Disney food and they're not? Yeah. But if they want to bite on my stuff, I'm totally going to give it to them. But at the same time, our kids just, they don't care that much. They're just happy to go to Disney again and know that we're trying something different this time. And it's a little bit different than what we're used to. But if it doesn't work, then we won't do it again. So that's my haul. Hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video and try to remember to check me on Instagram and if I am doing Periscope I'll put like a little thing down below of my Periscope information. I'm just not quite sure that I'm brave enough to do that. Not to mention I don't want to kill my battery and my phone because my phone dies like that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.